Reseller Clickbait Podcast, episode 29. What's up, Ken? SSK promo, hey, as Jimmy. always, with Jimmy Old School Flips. Go check out our YouTube channels, Instagrams, TikToks, all that fun stuff. I think we both have Facebook pages. Oh, wait, no. The oh, yeah. Reseller Clickbait Podcast has a Facebook page. Yes, we did that. We announced that last week. We're still working to put some content up. It'll probably be content about this show and then also... Uh, Jimmy and I will share our content from our own pages, right? You want to do that? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I mean, we have to figure something out, folks, because I really enjoy our podcast. I know most people yes. might not. I don't know. No, I'm just uh, I, No, we, we just want to get it out there more. You know, we feel like we should be doing a little bit better as far as as viewer count and sub count. Yeah. And it's not like we don't appreciate everybody that's already listening, watching. We just feel like, and let us know down below. I mean, I feel like people really enjoy the podcast and we want to try to do what we can to grow it and get it out there to more eyes and ears. I don't know. Maybe yes. like mouth base. No, you're, you're right on. We're, we're, we're growing. We're going to, we're going to grow. We're going to blow this thing up. We just yeah. need to find those right avenues to, to get the word out. I mean, because we're probably the most entertaining podcast on we could, we could just make like on one of those really the, cheesy rap where old what, people try to rap and make a commercial and yes i know there's a lot of viral videos where there's an old person trying to rap or something cuz i thought you were going to break into song for a second wait, there. <laughs> just right we're now gonna i was going to turn this mother <laughs> out. i thought that was about to happen right now drop a load on him jimmy <laughs> wait what? and uh, and then we'll <laughs> <laughs> let's maybe <laughs> Maybe I not. Know. <laughs> this was this was not a good idea, Jimmy. <laughs> it, it was not, but uh, yeah, we're we're growing. I'm, I enjoy doing the podcast. If nobody listened, I I enjoy doing the podcast. Yeah. But man, like I said last week, the the audio side is growing every week. We we get more views each week uh, than we did the previous week. So uh, we appreciate anybody that's listening on, you know, Spotify, iTunes, uh, Google podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, we just usually see the numbers mostly here on the YouTube, but, uh, it's, it's a jealousy thing. I'm enjoying Honestly, it. It's a jealousy thing. We're very okay. jealous of all the other successful podcasts in this community with their thousands of followers and their <laughs> thousands of views. And we're like, hey, did you see we got 110 views on our latest podcast? <laughs> nah, that's that's great. It's I enjoy. I'm not. I'm, an, I'm. I will admit it. I'm 100 percent jealous. Someday <laughs> we will be the big, the D O G. We will be the D. The delusions the, of grandeur the, say. Rap again. He's all say that we're going to be. <laughs> 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 so, so as we do every week. No, we're not going to talk about blow molds. Are we going to talk about blow molds today? Actually, we're going to recap every single sale we've had on every blow molds again for the third straight or the third week. No, but first of what I want to get into though, this is exciting. We're actually recording this podcast a little earlier than we normally do because Jimmy's got a big trip coming up. But we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But first, I want to say before uh, we get into is the holiday live tour that Which will come like out. Week news announcement music how does that go breaking news all right sorry the holiday live tour thanksgiving edition will be out this wednesday we're going to do it this wednesday which would be november the 23rd i think that's the day that's the wednesday evening before thanksgiving so if you're just live folks live yes it will be live with a special guest. I'm excited about about this guest Are you that ready we're going to have. Announce this guest. Are we going to announce yeah. this guest right here, right now? We are right here, right now, because the live is just two days away from this podcast. Will come out on Monday the 21st, and so we're doing the uh, the Thanksgiving edition. It's basically talking about everything Thanksgiving. You know, tradi- traditions, family traditions, food. The, the good foods and the bad foods. And we're going to talk about um, travel. You know, we're just, football. just, no, we don't talk about football anymore. Football. Sorry, yeah, we do. We talk about football, Day all the football. Time. football. Yeah. That's what, that's what Thanksgiving is about eating and football and naps and naps. Love Cause that trip to fan deviled eggs. Oh, sorry. That's a that. Spoiler on Ooh. possible. Uh, 
top. I'll have to, if that comes up, I will have to tell my I had a life changing experience, Jimmy, with deviled eggs. And I have to tell I that. Mean, I'm serious. I believe oh, it. Sonya speaking has of foods, had I, a life changing experience, the results of deviled eggs. <laughs> 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 Sorry, we went a little but, trash to cash on that. I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she has to ask her. She'll tell you. I, I will. I will ask her as soon as this is over. Out. I'm going to message Sonia and say, I need to know. <laughs> I But I only need audio. I don't need. Uh, you don't want smell. Uh, you don't want the smell. Yeah. What, what is that? What is the word for uh, audio? I don't need. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I mean, no, olfactory. No. I do not need olfactory proof. Olfactory. Of, I don't know what that means. Of the uh, the great deviled egg incident. Anyway, okay, wait. Uh, speaking of holiday foods, I want to throw this out here. If you're listening to this Monday, the 21st, this evening on the Nashville Flippers channel, the Monday oh, yeah. Night Draft is on with... Uh, Paul Philly Flipper with Ray from the Nashville Flippers and special guests, yours truly, what? SSK Promo and Kristen, a rule squirrel. Nice. And we will be doing a draft on favorite Thanksgiving foods. So be in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in a hotel. I had cream of potato soup at a Denny's in that. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hmm. So Sounds that's, awful. That's a fun fact. That's probably something you didn't know about me. Jimmy. I did not. And I didn't need to know it. Did, <laughs> did it have hatch green chili in it? <laughs> did it have what in it? Hatch green chilies. In cream of potato soup? I mean, it's New Mexico's thing. That's why I asked. Oh, okay. I was gonna say our diets are completely different. No, no, apparently. Like New Mexico's known oh, for their hatch Speaking green of chili. that. I did take a, a, a piece of advice that you had given me recently. I don't know if it was really advice, if it was an, a suggestion. I told you to do it, I told you. I made you do You it. said you have to do this or you have failed at life. Yeah. And it's from the podcast, if you don't do it, is what actually I did. And I did, I did do it, is I, I was having some ramen noodles Ooh. for dinner the other night, and I cracked that egg right into the ramen oh, as it there. was boiling. And uh, that was interesting. I would not had well, you're that supposed before. To say it's fantastic. It was oh, it was magnificent, wonderful, scrutatious, oh, so wonderful. You did enjoy it then. I did. Yeah, oh. it was. It it made it kind of thickened up that broth just a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was good. It kind of killed a little bit of the you know the chickeny flavor packet. Well, first kind of all, killed the chickeny flavor. The fact a that little you bit chose chicken flavor. Wait, what are you e putting it in? I don't ever eat the chicken flavor. That's what kind of ramen do you eat? They have beef and pork. Anything but chicken. It's like chicken noodle soup when you have chicken noodle yeah, chicken. Not, I don't in, I don't like ramen. the chicken flavor. I like the beef or pork flavor. Well, see now am I gonna be excommunicated from the podcast if I don't go try beef ramen? I mean if you're one of those pork ramen people that like chicken flavored ramen <laughs> one of one of those <laughs> what do you mean you people <laughs> oh that no, was i don't i honestly bad don't santa like i love chicken, bad santa i don't like chicken flavored ramen i don't like it okay my youngest son it's his favorite so there i know there's people out there that hey oh i know hey -oh. there's people out there that like it i just actually don't like it sorry little well, you were going to tell us about deviled eggs no, you, I wasn't. Gonna go, you said you had a life-changing deviled egg experience. I did, but I'm not going to tell that story till we talk about deviled eggs and foods. And, and really, it's not that great a story. I oh, might have okay. built it up a little bit bigger. I, we were talking about the holiday live tour and the special guests. Yeah, we still haven't announced that. We did the intro music and everything. Everybody's going to be excited about our guests for the Thanksgiving live tour show. Right. Wednesday evening, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll get a bunch of a bunch of uh, promotion out there beforehand, but our guest is none other than the only, the caretaker of Ricky the Raccoon, John Cincinnati Picker. 
is going to be our special guest for the live Thanksgiving show. So super excited about uh, about that that's just going to be a great show talking family traditions so and awesome for him to and foods come and, and hang out with us and talk about heck yeah thanksgiving dinner and traditions and deviled eggs and all that good stuff yeah we might do a whole show on deviled eggs i love deviled not, eggs. not we should do the next after the holiday live tours are over we'll do a live show just on deviled eggs and ramen noodles i think sonia has to take an entire dozen eggs Mm -hmm. Cut them in half to make 24 halves. Yes. And that's for me. That's just then, your portion. Yeah, that's of my the portion. Eggs. And then she has to go get the re another dozen for the rest oh. of the family. <laughs> 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 and doesn't I, I use the word has to. She does that for me. Maybe not a full 24. Oh. Probably I love deviled eggs. Probably 17 deviled eggs over the course of two days. Yeah, that'll 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 get to the uh the intestinal track. That'll go through the intestinal track pretty quick. So uh, uh join us then yeah. this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, holiday live tour. It's gonna oh. be it's gonna be a good show. It's gonna be fun. Picker. It'll be the same the same shenanigans that Jimmy and I do. Hopefully John will get a get a word in edgewise with us uh once we get going on food and traditions and, and then him be the host him be the host and we'll be the yeah <laughs> we'll have to work that out yeah we'll just say okay go john <laughs> and then we'll just show, sit man. there and wait <laughs> for him to we'll just sit there eating double sit. eggs <laughs> <laughs> i'll probably have my turkey hat on <laughs> you know show my special silverware but i don't want to give away wait, what all of that what? yeah yeah What's I'll have to. You have special silverware. I my Thanksgiving dinnerware. Hmm. That we have special so silverware. I mean, we. I don't think we have a matching pair of any kind of silverware. Yeah, silverware I, in our drawer at all. It's all different handles. I mean, it's. I'm not sure how I lose silverware. You know, I've got. You know, it was a matching set, probably a four or like an eight piece serving set. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I have like three little forks left and five big forks i don't know and the spoons i don't even know what happened to the, i don't even like the little spoons i might have thrown Wait, them away like whoa, the teaspoons whoa. i'm a tablespoon guy that is what? a disagreement in this household i hate the big spoons that you like mm, can't even put in your, <laughs> <laughs> try to eat when i want to when i, I want to bite a food i'm not talking about like a ladle jimmy i'm just mean that like the tablespoon size i don't know you the know difference. i like the smaller of the two that fit in the drawer I like the smaller of the two my, man we're just finding out the big spoons i hate okay. them I feel, it's like chicken ramen versus beef ramen as fast as you can with that thing what's happening here you can, Heck yeah when i want to bite i want a bite of food i want i want when you want like, a bite of your chicken noodle soup you want to I want a, I want, yeah, I want, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say what came to my, what whoa, whoa, came whoa. to my head there. Take it easy. A, anyway. So look forward to that. Uh, again, then check me out tonight. Talking Thanksgiving foods on, uh, the Monday night draft and sure uh, deviled eggs is on your list, bud. I will have to put the, although that's not usually a Thanksgiving staple food staple. Whoa. So for for in my household anyway, that's more Whoa. of a summery time dish, you know, a Fourth of July, a Labor Day party. Easy with that talk. <laughs> <laughs> let's in the comments down below. Yes, let's hear it. Who doesn't have deviled eggs with their Thanksgiving, at least as an appetizer, but with their dinner? Oh, okay interesting it, we're we're finding out see and that's what the thanksgiving show is all about to find out i mean the different ways that people celebrate the holiday the foods the you know do you go to grandma's house do you stay home if i was in that draft it would be the first pick first overall pick hands down hands i might down. surprise you i think i think i'm gonna spoiler alert right now i'm going with smarties as the <laughs> <laughs> um, Spoiler alert! <laughs> I'm, I'm picking Smarties. Smarties as the number one Thanksgiving food 
uh, out there. <laughs> Swedish fish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... But it's always on this show, Jimmy. All we ever talk about is blow molds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I want to get the the video that dropped last week, the blow mold mafia. Blow mold, uh, hashtag blow mold mafia. Hashtag, it's just it's blowing up. I mean, if you need, uh, if intended. you need a, <laughs> if you need a a blow mold whacked out, you know, forget hey, about it. Forget about it. <laughs> you got, I got, and if you look at the thumbnail, yes, seriously, like Ken looks like he's, you know, yeah. He's Jimmy requested than, well, my phone is than Tony small. Soprano. People Jimmy, are so more like crazy. Sorry about that, folks. Jimmy requested a photo of of me to be able to do that thumbnail. Here we go. Hold on, I hit got, it, I Jimmy. Know, I removed it because oh, you took it off. Uh, okay, I'll put it back there though. So this is the picture I used. I wanted to have the hair on it because he looked like a total mob boss. Look at that. <laughs> this guy, the Ice Man, right there. He put out. <laughs> This guy's put Look out more hits mug. than the Godfather himself. There's more people. <laughs> this guy has more people sleeping with the fishes than anybody. I know. <laughs> so if you uh, if you're just listening on the on the audio side, Jimmy had thrown up a picture of me with. I usually have my hat on. I don't always have to have my hat. I know that I have no hair up there, but this is I like I like the look of this hat, especially with my with. Oh, look at this big glorious beard. Oh. Two, here's what I'm going to say. The next podcast after this one is going to be the one after Thanksgiving, uh -oh, Monday, to... the whatever. We're getting Monday way Monday, the whatever. <laughs> Tune in, folks. Monday, the whatever. <laughs> Any random Our Monday, uh, which will be the 28th All right. of the, that we're, we're going to do the unveiling of this year's Santa Beard. I've mentioned Full that before. Dyed beard, right? Full dyed look. But is look how glorious dyed? this is getting. It's getting good. It's bleached. It's I guess it's more bleached mine, than dyed. Mine always just. Hmm. You're just. <laughs> so I got this going on and uh, and I've been getting tips. I think I mentioned that last week from my, my good friend, Barry, the thrifty Santa. Oh, he gave you he some and that. tips on some santa beard tips some santa beard tips we talked santa we talked everything and he's got a thing and it's public knowledge now that he is on like a uh he's getting national exposure for his santa portrayal uh with a uh a, a charity that's donating guitars to children for christmas it's called a guitar for christmas and um I'll probably talk about this a little bit more in my live show on Thursday, but uh, it is a combination. Uh, do you know who uh, Mike Huckabee? Uh, he's a politician, and uh, and but you do know who John Schneider is, uh, Bo Duke from the Dukes of Hazard. Oh yeah, John Schneider is a, is a singer, and they've uh, there's a, a new Christmas song. They're debuting a new Christmas song. And all the proceeds are going to this. And there were some special guitars that were signed and are being auctioned off to go towards this Guitars for Christmas program. And Barry is the Santa Claus featured in the video, uh, in the audio with some ho ho hos and and just uh, some really some really cool stuff that's uh, that's happening out there for him. So I appreciate so that. He's a much so, cooler Santa than you is what you tell him. Oh man, he is the real <laughs> deal. I tell you that. He he's he's got it going on and he's he's got that Santa look 24/7. You Cue know. The Jill comment that Ken is the coolest Santa she knows. He's the coolest <laughs> Santa I know as well. <laughs> Sorry, just joking. I'm, or am I? But Nah, uh, you might be, but wait till, wait till this thing gets all yeah, bleached it's and good. it's a, to, it's a total transformation and it'll be shocking. And, um, when we do the big unveil on that show coming up in a couple weeks, but as I was alluding to before, the only conversation we really like to have here on the reseller clickbait podcast is about blow molds Yeah, we and just, the blow mold mafia. You know, we, we covered all of that. Like over, I I happened to notice after the show, I told Jimmy, didn't we talk about all of that whole same thing the week before? So you're probably getting tired of it. Yeah. But I'd be remiss, Jimmy. Have you ever been? 
Have you ever been remiss? If I remissed. (laughs) Um, Jimmy had a huge blow mold sale. I did. And it is, what is it? What is it? Tell us about it. The Santa sleigh with one reindeer that all came in the same box. Yes. In really great condition. It was the final piece of the set that I bought for $300. I've already sold all the reindeer, and then this was the final piece. It sold for five hundred and nine dollars, so yes. it's on a fifteen percent off sale. So I think I had okay. it for five fifty. It went for five oh nine, plus a hundred dollars shipping to California, which is great for me because California is an easy. Yes, uh, is not far from where I'm at in Colorado. So yeah, it sold uh, this morning. Um, the okay. the buyer messaged me a couple times, asked some questions about it. It seemed very excited to be getting it for yes. for her husband who loves nostalgic Christmas decorations yes. and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Cool. And now is that is that almost like the same setup that's in Christmas Vacation, right? That he has out in the it's front yard. Similar. It's not similar the exact to the same, but you know, okay. it's a it's a big Santa in his sleigh. It's good size, and it's, it's it only has one reindeer. Um, okay. But again, it's not something that you can find. You can't find it anymore. Yeah. Um, like the like this particular one. This one was a the tag on it is from Kmart, which Kmart's not around anymore. Yeah. It was, I believe it was early 90s that it came out. That's yeah. sweet. So that's our our blow mold discussion for today. So hey, everybody, thanks for listening. And yeah. uh we we'll see will see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, the show's not really ending, guys. Don't leave. Stay. No, but we talked about we're recording this a little bit early because you are going on a trip next yep. week. What's I up? Going, Where are you going? I am going to the moon. To the moon. Oh, and that new the song where they talk about. Fly me rocket. to the moon. No, not that one. Oh. Well, they talk about going okay. on a rocket ship or something. I never really got Frank oh, Sinatra. I'm leaving on a jet plane. That's the song I should be singing. Yes. But I'm not even taking a plane. I'm driving, so never mind. Yeah, I'm going to Arizona. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to Arizona for a couple of days. By way of the moon. By way you're of going, the moon. You're going to loop around. on a jet. No, sorry. Um, I don't know when. Wait, if we did that at the same time, we might harmonize. <laughs> like on the movie Armageddon. <laughs> Oh, so yes. So, yeah, I'm going to That's Arizona. True. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, actually. Well, who's texting you? I'll text you back. I don't know. You what? He's, you guys, I don't know. He's, we're, his phone is more important than us. <laughs> That's a bunch of I couldn't figure out why it was why it kept ticking like that. Wait, maybe you're sending me a message. Oh, you said, you no, know, no, you're not. All right. So we've been. I was like, Jimmy, please stop singing. Text. That was the message yeah. that I sent. Yeah. He said, stop. <laughs> stop. Why did they stop? Stop singing, Jimmy. You're going to Arizona. What are you going to Arizona for? I'm going there to visit family. Okay. And to hit yard sales because there are currently no yard sales in Colorado anymore. Yes. It's mainly estate sales. I actually went to an estate sale last weekend, though, we could talk about, but I'm going there mainly to source. I consider it a business trip. I have a lot of family in Arizona, so it makes it a perfect place to go for a business yeah. trip, hit yard sales yes. for the weekend because it is in peak yard sale season. And then I can also see my family and Sonia's family while we're out there. Oh, that's cool. So are you celebrating Thanksgiving while you're there? Or are you having? Uh, no. What? Oh, uh, well, week I, before? For starters. Visiting I, family? It's a four day, like it's gonna be a quick four days. It always is, right? Okay. And I just don't think we have time to spend a whole day kind of doing the Thanksgiving thing and yeah. sit down and have a dinner together. Um, so that that's we're not gonna do that. We'll visit everybody, we'll eat at a lot of the restaurants that we want to eat at that we like yeah. in Arizona, stuff like that. I just don't think we really have time. We talked about it, and I told him, I was like, we just, you know how it goes. It's like a whirlwind. Yes. Like, we just, we we get there, and then next thing you know, we're heading home. And we yes. barely have time to fit everything that we want to do into the trip. So, to have, like, a Thanksgiving day where you sit around and hang out and then cook a big dinner and all that stuff, just not enough time for that. Yeah. Agreed. But you said you're going to make it a business trip doing some thrifting going to meet oh, yeah. up with any any 
any other resellers when you're yeah, in that area? Meeting up with Matt Phoenix Flipper. Yeah. Um, I've Good met deal. him last year there. Um, he was yes. nice. He's gonna he's gonna drive us around again. He knows he lives out right. He lives actually in the same city as Sonia's mom. Okay. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. The Sand Tan Valley. Okay. And he's going to drive us around the yard sales. Now, here's a good question because I was just talking okay. to my buddy, Matt. Yes. And he asked if I was still coming. I was like, yeah, duh. But he was like, well, there's a, because I'm asking because there's a Goodwill grand opening on mm-hmm. Friday. Nice. Now, do you know about Goodwill's yeah. grand openings? Well, I know that they usually put out all the good stuff I at good think- prices. When there's a when whenever either it's a grand opening or they've remodeled a store and they kind of have that re grand opening, yep. I know they put out all the best deals to to give people that false sense that hey, this place is going to be great all the time. Yeah, it's very false, very false advertising. Yeah, because the one that opened up just down the street from me, maybe two three years. Oh, it's been actually, it's been a while ago that that one opened actually probably three years ago and there was a line around the corner. And then when they opened the store, it was a mad, crazy rush. Yeah. But people were pulling single stitch concert t-shirts, castle gray skulls, he man action figures, like you name it, collect anything, you know, just, yeah, you could tell like it was so obvious that they stocked the shelves with amazing stuff. Yes. And it was all priced really good. Like people were pulling re- LP records that were rock and roll and stuff, the stuff that uh-huh. that's hard to find. So I've experienced that. You, you've heard about it. I've actually experienced it. I didn't buy a lot at that grand opening because I didn't know it was like that until that one. Okay. So I showed up when the doors were supposed to open and I saw the line. Okay. And then I went inside. By the time I got inside, the line to check out wrapped around the entire inside ah, of the store. Yeah, but I saw I was, I was like a Black Friday sale. The word like I was searching or scouring the line and looking in people's <laughs> baskets. Yeah, and parts, and I was like, oh my gosh, Castle Grayskull. Oh my gosh, like you know, trans G one Transformers, like Generation uh, One. Trans- That's the stuff I'm into. But there was also I saw the the clothes, the vintage clothing lots of really good electronics you name it so anyways the point is yeah. i have to decide on friday okay. do i go to the grand opening that he said there will be a line and you'll have to they open at nine we'll probably have to be there at seven okay so i'm literally standing in line from seven to nine okay or do i go to yard sales or do you go to yard sales i'm i've already decided i'm going to yard sales okay. just so you know let's so see you don't have I- to but what do you guys think about that? Would you yeah. let, let me know in the comments and let me, I want to ask you, would you wait in the line for the possibility of something epic from Goodwill or would you be hitting yard sales like crazy? Like I'm going to do. Well, here's, here's, here's what I'm going to say, because I'm in the same situation as you are here in Ohio garage sale season, yard sale season is done. Yeah. And so now I'm in thrift store mode. Which I so hate. that's yeah, I I agree. I, it's a little more. If I hate, difficult. And, I mean, I guess I don't hate it, but like it's my it's not my favorite thing to do. Anyways. I was, but one of my thrift stores is in the same uh, little plaza where I take my my mail. My there's a little postal store there where I take the mail. And today, as I was driving down the drive to get to the postal store, I saw two two fellow resellers going into the to like the thrift wave. store. Do we have a wave like bikers do? You know how bikers are. Bikers <laughs> yeah, they, they get that little. <laughs> how you been? Or put how you or been? people that drive the the jeeps like the Jeep Wranglers. You know, it's that that yeah, little yeah. finger up. We need you to know, come up with the reseller the one. Like, we need Just to have that. a reseller wave. I, Dude, we would be. We got to come up with this. We got to. Do you, you want to do some editing, Jimmy? I got one for you. <laughs> 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 let's no, say uh seriously though like we got to be like those bikers that yeah. how you doing yeah every hey, time I see a, a biker and they drive i always I, I always do like a narration <laughs> for something how you doing how you doing 
Sometimes they go a little too. Uh, so yeah, what could the reseller, the reseller, you know, just the acknowledgement that uh, you know, yeah, I I know you're a reseller, even though I don't know you personally. I can tell by your your habits. You know, if you're if you're scanning the barcode or everybody's you know texting on their phones <laughs> or not texting, but everybody's comping on the phones uh, in the in the thrift stores anymore. Next time, but we I saw are, these are two guys. Other, we got to come up with the wave. Just for okay. Three. We got to remember this too. Though. The next time we see each other, we got to make up the reseller wave. The Go rese ahead with the two resellers that you. How you doing? <laughs> Maybe it'll be like you know, like a <laughs> like a baseball call. Like a what was that? what was he? <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing. <laughs> we'll just we'll just do the old uh, the old curly, you know. <laughs> if you have a suggestion throw that down in the, in the <laughs> comments of what the reseller yeah, wave describe should be. It in detail we want at least oh. three paragraphs of how the waves we should get hey maybe that can be like a a, a tiktok or an instagram you know challenge we could go viral. what would the reseller wave be or the the reseller you know acknowledgement the reseller that, acknowledgement I know. Hey, I know what you're doing. You know what I'm doing. We have you know, to have one. We're we're kind of all we're we're kind of all on the same team, but against one another. Right? Is that is that right? We're. I mean, yes, yes. Most people would say yes. No. I mean, yeah. I, I have fun. I don't. You know, if it's see, you know, I no. love you, Jimmy, because <laughs> you're not anywhere close to my area, and right. since we thrift, since we source a lot of the same types of items, you know, it does make it a little bit different. Now, these two guys that were walking in, I know that they don't usually look for the same types of items that, that I do. Uh, cause the, the one guy has a, um, a booth like in a, in one of the like flea market antique sort of stores. Yep. And so I, I know the stuff that, that he does, but I run across these fellas at the sales all the time and so they're not much so i did i dropped off my packages and then i did go into the to the thrift and uh nary a thing today so to disappointing find. that you guys run into each other all the time and there's no wave that exists. i know it's very I disappointing should, i i'm coming we're we're coming up this is a yeah. this is a yeah. reseller so campaign those two guys the next time you gotta walk up to them and say hey you guys are resellers right if you yeah, <laughs> this is the reseller wave. So whenever we see each other, <laughs> put them little, up, put them up, put them up. Little. I'll fight you with my eyes closed. I uh, speaking of, I got that. I went to uh my my little niece Aspen was in like a high school production of The Wizard of Oz over the weekend. Uh, they had it at the Palace Theater, uh, here in in town, and she's just in um middle school or. She's still in elementary school, but the, the high school kids played all the, the main parts and they had kids from middle school and elementary school that did uh <laughs> that what did the, the, play? the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I can guess what part they had. They were, were yeah. The <laughs> yeah, they were um were they, the they were part of, we'll just say they're part of the lollipop guild. <laughs> they were part of the lollipop. You know. Guild. And uh but man, what a what a cool production that was. <laughs> It was. Uh, up, hey, we need some people for, the, for those roles. Go over to the we elementary need, <laughs> We don't have enough. Uh, I'm not allowed to say the M word anymore. Am I? They, we don't have enough little people. There you go. <laughs> oh, Let's go over to the elementary. But anyway, it was a really cool production of The Wizard of Oz. I I enjoyed it. It was it was fun. I mean, the the production that they put into it for a high school play and the the main characters just powerful voices for young you know oh. for young young kids just really um and i always like you know the cowardly like put them up put them up that that kid uh did it great hmm. anyway powerful so voices, huh? maybe we'll have uh so if you if you're another reseller that does content maybe another podcast maybe another uh you know just anybody does you know Shoot out a little video there, a little TikTok or something. What you think the the reseller acknowledgement should be? Give us yeah. credit. Give us credit. The reseller clickbait podcast. Yeah, hashtag. It's our idea. Don't you steal it? Yeah. 
Hashtag it and uh, <laughs> hashtag it reseller wave or reseller acknowledgement. Ooh, reseller wave. Hashtag that sounds that's reseller has wave. Better, has a better flow to it now. So and uh, what I'm comparing it to is if when bikers, if you don't know, most people know, but when bikers yeah. pass each other, when a motorcyclist coming from the other direction passes another motorcyclist. If you haven't noticed, start paying attention. They wave to each other. They do a little. Yeah, they kind of. They do a little. And they wave to. How you doing? How you doing? It's and so like a little two finger, like low, you know, yeah. low down yeah, off the side wave of the bike. Little, and... They reach down to the, towards the ground with it. So very unsafe. They should have both hands on the on the handlebars. <laughs> um, no, just, so I do you work like, for the Department of Motor Vehicles there, Jimmy? Because that popped into my Are you head moonlighting? when Ken mentioned walking past two resellers, I feel like maybe yes. we. So yeah. Anyways, that's I like what that. I'm comparing it. To. It's a national campaign. It's a national now. campaign. It's post. out there. Hashtag reseller wave. You know, like I can gonna make some content, like TikToks that are split or whatever, or shared and split, and like you could be like. Ray, you know, I know Ray's already working on this right now as we speak. <laughs> yeah. Ray's gonna do a wave and then he'll cut me and wave into him, and we'll, then we can literally do it across TikTok as well. Uh, well this is a this is gonna spread like wildfire. It is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. We're big deals now. Look, by the time oh no, wait, no, we, no, we people are we gonna work on it before this drops? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't know. We'll get it, we'll get it out there. So we got it, we got a week because this is gonna come out next Monday. Or tonight, which yeah, I just it's not gonna happen right. Well, you can after this video drops. Yes, we'll start working. Of course, on nobody will nobody will know about it until then anyway. So yeah. we got plenty of time. We're the only ones, huh? So we'll, we'll be make, waving at people and they'll be like, "What the heck yeah. is that guy waving at?" <laughs> if you only we'll just him. we'll do our own we'll do our own like little duet TikToks and we'll just do that you know in the acknowledgement. <laughs> we don't know what it is. I keep doing the yeah, two finger I'll thing, do but that one anyway. you know. At least, might three be fingers, at least three fingers. At least three fingers. Little tug <laughs> on the ear. Nah, might be the. Could be a little. Poink. You know, poke the other guy in the eyes. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I it's love this fun. idea. I do. Too. This it's is gonna great. Fun. It's going to spread like wildfire. I'm telling you. It it is. All resellers are going to be at yard sales. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, hey, <laughs> and see, and you'll know. If people are watching your content yeah, that, at that point, you when know, you're out there, sweep if, the lake, you know, sweep so the I'll lake. be out there like every, you know, 70 year old grammar, I'll be going like, you know, and they'll think <laughs> like, Oh, this young, this young fella's this hitting young. on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find out if grandma is a reseller watching my channel. Oh, that's and great. now next thing you know, I'll be going on dates. With <laughs> whoa, take it easy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's I like that. I like that idea. What I just thought. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Uh, so what else is up? Hey, you were telling me a story that oh. you may have got scammed. Uh. So. Uh, as a season, is it eBay, it is story time. It's story time. <laughs> so, Score. let me tell the story and you tell me. I don't okay. know. So, I had someone uh -huh. buy. So, I had these stickers. I've sold a couple in my videos. You've probably seen them. I sold these pair of stickers that I picked up in a grab in yeah. grab bags at the thrift. A They're stickers, stickers for like uh scrapbooking and stuff, exactly. right? Exactly. Yep. So okay. I had a ton of these stickers, right? Okay. And so when before I go into the story, I've dealt with a lot of customers on eBay. I've dealt with a lot of this stuff. I know the inside and out of how you can work this. Yes. And the person that bought these from me also knew the insides and outs of how to work somebody over. Okay. They did because I and I'll I'll get into the details of it. So, I had all these stickers for sale. Um, I I paired them into twos because there was literally like fifty of one sticker and fifty of another sticker. So I just okay. put those two stickers together in one listing and listed them quantity of fifty. You get two stickers, right? 
Okay. And I had them listed for like eight bucks plus shipping. And they were selling. So yeah. I had one somebody bought one pair from me, right? Okay. Then right after that, they messaged me and they were like, Hey, are you willing to sell the rest of these in bulk? Okay. And I was like, Yeah, I'll sell them in bulk. And then they asked, Will you do a dollar a piece? And I'm like, Well, no, that's giving them away. Like yeah. I'm selling them for four dollars a piece at least, eat four fifty each right now. Yeah. So I can't go all the way down to a dollar each. Like that's not worth that. I'm giving up so much money by doing that. Sure. Know? Because yeah. they were selling. These stickers were moving. So they kind of were a little butt about it. Yeah. So well, what's the best you can do? And I said, you know, I'll do two fifty a piece. Okay. And they were like, they you know, they were like they wanted the better price. Yes. You know, and so I think we agreed on two dollars okay. per piece, which was still not a great deal for me. But since I not a great deal in the amount of money I lost, I lost half my money on those lots, right? Yeah. More than half. But you're moving but inventory I'm and moving, I'm making over a hundred dollars. Yeah. On these because there's you know and I'm making over a hundred dollars and I didn't pay a lot for them, right? I paid little, yeah. very little. So I was like, you know, and oh, that's the end. That's the end. I was okay. Going the big I, end. I'm nice guy. Yeah. I see that they're an eBay seller. Okay. They, their entire store is these Jolie whatever stickers, like the brand. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? I can move these. They yes. can turn around and sell them on their store. Leave a little meat on the bone a for them. Meat on the bone for them. Boom. Works out. Okay. Better good for both of us well yes they wanted these at the price they wanted them at yeah and they weren't happy i could tell they weren't happy that they had to pay okay. more than the dollar so what i think was so they they kept the order for one uh-huh and then they they ordered the rest okay so now they had two orders in okay so i shipped them both out now these are brand new in the package stickers, folks. And yes. I went through every single one of them twice now because when I was shipping them, I stacked them. I, you know, I went through them, separated the two different and put them each into their own Ziploc bags. Mm -hmm. So I get a message. Hey, I wish you would have told me that half of these stickers have bad adhesive on them. Okay. And so now I know that they're a reseller that's going to sell these. So uh -huh. they didn't buy them to open them up and use them. And I'm like, how are you? Again, they're all in the package. And I looked at all of them. They're all sitting in the package the way they're supposed yeah. to. They're all mm -hmm. stickers on the backing that they're supposed to be on. Yes. And I'm like, well, I'm not sure what you mean. They they were in good condition when they left here. I'm sorry. I'm literally like nice when I do my customer service. I'm oh, sorry definitely. they arrived that way. Um. And, you know, I left it real simple. I'm sorry they arrived that way. It's kind of just all I said. Yeah. And then they messaged me back. Can you refund me half of my money? Okay. Right away. So they want, they, again, they're trying to get, I've the seen deal this they before, wanted. folks. I'm not yes. just like the first, the, I've seen this before. They're trying yes. to get the price they wanted originally. It's, if you're a reseller, you know what I'm talking about. If you've been doing this for a long time, you've seen this before. They're yeah. using that Definitely. to get the price that they wanted. So this is why I, again, I offer free returns because yeah. it acts as a tool for me now. Yes. My response to that is, I'm sorry, I don't offer partial refunds. Good news, though, I offer full refunds when the item is returned and the return label is at no cost to you. Yes. That was my response. That is fair. And then they said, okay. And then they started returns. Okay. On both of them. So okay. now they said, oh, by the way, you're going to have to pay. They messaged me. Oh, by the way, you're going to have to pay for two shipping labels because eBay's making me make two shipping labels for the return. Okay. I'm like, fine. That's fine. Send them yeah. back, please. It, same as if like, you sold them to two different at, separate buyers. That's okay. Because in my mind, I'm at this you. point, they're not keeping my stickers. They're not. I'll give them their money back just on principle alone. Yes. But, you know, again, I'll say there's a 15% chance that these stickers 
maybe uh, maybe probably less that something happened to half of them on the way there i guess yeah. but this i to protect myself mm-hmm. let's do the returns send them back i will give you all your money back well they so they start returns and right away negative feedback okay on on both orders so that's why the two orders so i now i have two negative feedback okay so um I'm like, okay. And they're and they're a seller. They're a seller themselves, so they, they understand the themselves. impact yeah. of of a negative feedback on a on another seller. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Um. So I'm like, well, that's messed up. Well, I gave you guys. I'm going to give you guys a full return. So what they know now is, mm-hmm. even if I can get the feedback removed, they know that I can't remove it until that claim is closed. So yeah. I have, I now have two choices. I wait for the return to get to me, which now they will wait the full 30 days. Then, uh-huh. then they'll like the, then they'll ship it. And then they won't ex- like, they won't accept the return. It's like, so you're going well over 30 days. Yes. With this negative feedback on your account because eBay won't remove it while there's an active return. Yes. So that's what they're doing now. Like, and so, I'm, and again, I've experienced this. That's just wrong. But the, the, and so like, it's just like I want like you, like I, I'm not gonna lie. I looked at their stores like, oh, I'm gonna buy some from them and use that as, you know, maybe some leverage to get them to remove the feedback or whatever. Yeah, I don't reciprocate. Know. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, in, in the moment you're upset and you're just thinking, sure, they had already blocked me from buying stuff from them. <laughs> so they so, they were oh, so they system. really knew the system. So wait a minute. Sounds awful. And honestly, do I care? Not totally. I don't care. Like this is I didn't it, I felt like they used all the leverage they could. So why why can't I have a little bit? Yeah. So I made exactly. the decision though. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. You froze up a little bit on my end. Go ahead though. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I didn't say anything. Probably just the, the freeze out. Man, Go ahead. I so I did make the decision. You, I ref- huh. I refunded them and and was and once I got refunded them, eBay helped me out with the negative feedback that they left. So you refunded them before you received the item back? Yep. Okay. So now if they haven't shipped it, they does get, that give them opportunity? Oh, they're gonna keep it for sure. They are. Okay, so now they got them for free. Yeah, they did. Okay. Um, I did that because it was the only way I was going to get the feedback removed right away. Yeah. Which that I didn't think was fair. And I know some people, I don't, I don't, I'm not obsessed over my feedback, but I care about it enough to where. Yeah. I knew that they won. I, they won or did they? No, they won um, that part of the battle. Or the yeah. you know that battle. Um, I have some things that um, I can consider, but uh-huh. it's fine. Like yeah. at the end of the day, I only I still made money on the deal. Yeah, that's um that's an interesting topic that we now, we should we should do a show about that. You know, fe- feedback. You know, negative feedback, positive feedback. How important is it? That's uh, right, right. That's now you. I understand completely that I should have just gave them the half of the money back and it would have been a done deal, but you know, well, instead I, mean, I lost out on everything instead of losing out on half the money. Yeah. Well, and I guess, no, well, you did principle kind of guy, man on principle alone. It wasn't happening. Yeah. You, I mean, that's, that's the, the whole thing. You, you get some of those buyers. I'll, I'll go ahead and call them a scammer myself there's um, there's more details that i don't want to go into that i could sure to show why i know that's what they were trying to do but i just yeah. don't want to go into the, that part of the details because i feel like the case i built wouldn't stand up in a, in a court of law like maybe hey maybe they were bad stickers and you're just overreacting but there's some other yeah. things that went down in conversation between me and the seller slash buyer that makes me tell that they just wanted their price like that's at the end of the day they wanted the price and since i didn't give it to them they were going to get it literally they wanted one i we did two if they get yeah. half the money back they're back to the one dollar they wanted yeah and yeah and that's I feel like that's just a dirty way to to 
to do things, to be a reseller. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you just, in editing, why don't you just splash their name right up over the center of it? Oh, okay. We'd put their name right up there on there and people could buyer beware, seller beware, I guess you would say. Yeah, it's that's that's not fair to use those systems. Now, sometimes those systems that are in are in place through eBay. Of course, eBay helped you out, got the negative feedback after yeah. you basically have lost. I guess we'll see at this point. Is this person um do they have any credibility at all? Will they send the stickers back to you? We'll we'll, we'll keep it updated on the podcast. Will they yeah. send them back? Will they sell them on their store? Aha, uh -huh, yes. I'm going to watch for that. And if they list the quantity yeah. that I shipped, then that's 100% evidence that there was nothing wrong with those stickers. Yes. So I guess I have them followed. I will keep an eye on them. And I will find out if they list those and what quantity. They and, that's just, and I'll be that, honest, if I was wrong and they only list half of them, then I'll know that I was wrong. Yeah. My true. assumptions and my accusations were wrong. You know, of course, that you know, they that seems to be their specialty. Maybe they can tell by looking at something that it's bad, but it just sounds like like dirty pool to me. It's it's them yeah. being disgruntled because they couldn't get the deal they wanted and they were going to try to use the system. I would follow the same, the same format or the same policy or principle that you did. It's like, Hey, sorry, that didn't work out. Yeah. I offer free returns. You send them back. You'll get their money back. If you're not happy, then you can look at the stickers and, and yeah. 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 But and to I'll leave say. the immediate uh, negative feedback, there right. was no reason because you were being, well, and, you were and being my, a good business person with good customer service and saying, right. hey, good news, send them back and you'll get a full refund. Yeah. And my initial That's... thought was it, I didn't have any, you know, I've already sold them for $2. When I had them list $2 a piece, when I had them basically at four fifty dollars per sticker in yeah. my listings. So I already lost half of my profits is the way I'm looking at it. Yeah. So then if I give them half, I've lost three quarters of my profit now we're doing math this is dangerous yes. so <laughs> my brain is about to explode so now i'm like you know what i would rather get them all back all sort through whatever's good and what's bad even though i also know there's nothing wrong with these stickers they're brand yes. new in the package there's absolutely nothing wrong with them they yes. are in great condition they're not they don't have any like weather where they were you could tell they were stored in a very good location nothing yeah. wrong with these stickers all. plus i've already sold 20 pairs of and gotten positive feedback on at least five of those pairs. Yeah. So again, there's nothing wrong with these stickers. Keep that in mind, folks. I'm telling you, these stickers were perfect, brand new condition. Anyways, where was I going with that? So in my mind, I was like, bring them back and I'll get the good ones and then I'll sell the pairs again and yeah. I'll still make more money than I did selling them to this lady if I give her half the money back. Yes. Anyways, long... And and, and also, it made for a really good conversation for the podcast. I understand I could get beat up I, for this. I understand that I could be told I'm wrong. I understand I no, could No, no, I wrong. don't see where I don't, you know, leave a it comment there for, a if you think there was, if you think there's a different way to handle that situation, was was the was the buyer in this situation, were they wrong? Was, uh, was there a direction that Jimmy could have went to handle that differently? To me, and the policies that I do, I think that, you know, you offer those free returns. If you're not happy, send them back, especially when you correspond with them. Of course, you said there's some other correspondence that they threw out there. And, well, I mean, it, don't, and it almost seems like, you know, feedback extortion. With, but uh, with someone that knows what they're doing because they are a seller. And I'm telling you, they are a seller. They have a store full of these stickers. Yes. And that's another thing. It's almost kind of like the reseller wave. There's reseller unwritten rules. Like, yeah. you, if you buy from another seller... I feel like you try to work out it as every way possible. Yeah. If, if something went wrong in the transaction, and that's what I did. I'll give you all your money back. Send me the stickers back. Yeah. I'll give you all your money back. Problem solved. You know, we're done. Deals over. Yeah. I'll be interested to hear, and you know, if people throw that, negative throw feedback. that in a comment and, and, you know, down there and let, let us know, how you would handle that situation in, in your business or, you know, from the, 
from the opposite side of it, as a buyer, when you are buying stuff, because we all buy stuff, I try to support other resellers and, and buy things on eBay uh, because it's the platform I sell on. And if that platform is strong, that only helps, you know, all of us. So let us know what you questions. think is, uh, what's that? Now, in going into my total conspiracy question. Yes. This is a question I would like you to answer and everybody hey. else to answer. Okay. In the comments. Do I get the answer you, first or do I have to wait for the you, comments? Oh. Go ahead. No, you're going to answer right now. <laughs> okay. Or you're, or you're off the show. I mean, we talked about the <laughs> I mean, I'm the boss. You do it. <laughs> hey, forget about feedback. it. Negative feedback. <laughs> Go ahead. No, so I'm jo joke. We're joking, folks. Joking. Or are we? Um, what was I saying? Oh, so here's you were the question. asking a question. Yes. And this is this is me going way into my thought. Maybe too deep into my thought of how they tried to scam me. Okay. Do you think they ordered the one set of stickers, then asked the question? about the rest so they could leave me have the have the weapon of two negative feedbacks because they were able to leave me two negative feedbacks because they put in multiple orders mm -hmm. i feel like why why would you do that why wouldn't you just ask in the first place yeah or you know or maybe they you know didn't i'm just spitballing here maybe they as they were ordering them they didn't realize that it was a multiple quantity thing until after they had bought them so they had already purchased the one but then when you're making the deal with somebody why when you say hey can you cancel this we'll add that first order into the whole deal yeah yeah and um so and, and you're right just to be clear they ordered them they ordered them and then they followed it up with a question right after they ordered them yeah. Hey, will you sell the rest in bulk? I don't understand why you guys why you go buy one set and then in the within the same 10 minutes send a message, yeah. hey, will you sell me the rest in bulk at a discounted rate? So I mean, I, I, I see what you're saying. Like maybe they didn't realize I had so many of them available. Yeah. But again, I go into the fact that they are a seller. They are yeah. buying these to resell them. Yes. Why would they buy just one set of two? Yeah. And then by the rest, I mean, it doesn't really add up. If the thought process is not buying it for themselves, but buying it to resell it, they should yeah. have hit me with that bulk question right off the bat. So, boom, case closed. <laughs> Throw the book at them, put them in, lock the key, all that. Put them stuff. in resell jail. Resell, and, give them the reseller wave and get them. <laughs> and so, if we see these people, we'll give them that initial. Uh, reseller wave that wait uh wait, that i was <laughs> i'm not editing anything so it's not gonna be in there can uh, okay <laughs> it's uh you know i i don't know that the the initial intent was so that they could leave two negative feedbacks i think that just worked out to their advantage in the end to try to strong arm you um on both of them so that that would that'd be my stance on it that I, I think it was a, I think it was a, a, a just a worked out well in their favor doing the, the, the two orders. Um, cause you know, obviously they wanted at least one set yeah. to begin with and they paid full price for those. Right. Yep. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know that it's, it's shady. It's scammy all the way around. And if Jimmy would tell me this buyer's name, I would blurt it out, you well, know, cause, and that's probably. That's that's probably why he uh, doesn't tell me exactly who it is. Cause I'd call him out. I'm not afraid. I mean, I'll, I'll say the user's name I, again. It's up to you to decide based on what I, the story I just told what you think. I mean, Oh, okay. It's yeah. B A N five H E E B zero Y is the username. That's the username? Yeah. Banshee. They come up with something creative Ban like old Banshee school flips or. The five is supposed to be an S and the zero is supposed uh. to be an O. So it would be like Banshee Boy. Oh, I see. B -A, again, B A N 5 H E E B 0 Y. Okay. So that's the, that's the person, you know, seller beware.
we'll we'll say on that. And uh, yeah, that's a that's an inch. I'll be interesting to 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 hear the the continuing saga if they actually send them back. If yeah, they yeah. just keep everything at the money, and then if they uh, list, and, they list and them, then, I'm gonna buy them know, all back. I'm buying them all the, back. Yeah. In the end, yeah, buy them all back and then leave them. (laughs) Hey, wait. If they list them in sets. Oh, wait, I'm blocked. I can't even buy them back. Oh, that's right. That see, that's there's where the dirty pool is right there, too. (laughs) Is that as soon as you did that, they blocked blocked you. So they know they, they you know, the thing in that situation with me is I hate for someone to get one over on me. That's that's the thing. It just it just drives me nuts that somebody won. And again, you had said earlier, you're on principle. It now it's the principle yeah, of yeah. the thing that uh, you know. I used and to be then a lot end, more angry about stuff like that, but I, especially, but I, I let me finish off the story by saying, okay, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm not that upset about it. I'm already done and over with Damn. it. I, and, and I say that because in this community, there's a lot of people that dwell on this kind of stuff yeah and literally will stop selling and talk so much hate about stuff because of transactions like that they do upset me yeah. but i'm going I, i'm sticking to I my got positive a, attitude about stuff and i'm done with it and i had a great day of 700 dollars in sales today nice so I'm like I'm, I'm already done with worrying about it but uh, here's I, here's my piece of advice yeah. here's my piece of advice a great man once said and I, I, I think about this every time I get a bad experience or a return. A, a great man once uh, said, sell through it. Hey, a great man, huh? Oh, I got to yeah. meet this guy. He's actually so this, really smart and good looking. This guy right here, <laughs> one time, long, long time ago, I went out before Jimmy and I were doing podcasts or whatever. And he was, he was on a show or maybe it was on one of his things. And this kind of a topic came up of, of, you know, not, not letting the, the, you know, it's, it's just business. And, and you, if you get those returns or you get those bad days, it's just sell through it, list a few more things, sell a few more things. Once you, you know, if your phone's cha-chinging more, what's that one that bring sound that comes up when you get a notification? I don't know if that's how it sounds or not, yeah, but does. sometimes, you know, when you have orders out there that I don't want to say that they're iffy orders, but when you've got big items or glassware out there or electronics, even though they've, you know, stuff has been tested as clean, you were fair and honest with your listings and stuff until that stuff is delivered and either that 30 days go by or until you see maybe a positive feedback come up. Yeah. You're a little bit, you hear that bring thing come up and it's like, ah, okay, what's this? Uh, but if you're getting a whole lot more cha-chings than you, uh, then you are the, the notification sound that's, that just, will that'll bring your day quick. So sell, sell through it. That's what it's one of my, I would say rules or one of my indicators that you are, I don't want to sound terrible on that. Like you're doing very well as a full-time reseller when you know, or when you don't spend your money or count that money before you, before it's gone past whatever amount of days. Yeah. Like you, you know, I hadn't even gotten to where I was even close to spending that money. If you want to look at sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you're counting that money daily and you're spending it as soon as it comes into your account before, and and then you leave nothing in there, you know, if you're basically like a paycheck to paycheck type of reseller, yeah, you're taking a huge risk. Yeah. Which I'm sure there's, a, there's a lot of folks that are out there that are, that are full time that, that do that, that, uh, you know, I would, I would probably have to say that I'm not a paycheck to paycheck, but you know, I rely on all of this. How I said that. I, not, I not know, really. I didn't know how to word it. But I, I because understood you are, what you, you meant. Can be successful. So sex, successful wasn't the right word. So you know, returns. Your your average everyday returns. Uh, that's going to happen. And my, as I'm sure yours are, and most resellers, your ratio of returns to sales is very minimal. Yeah. You know, I don't get a lot of returns. But we, but I do, we all get, we all get returns and, and sometimes it is, you know, when you have a bigger item that's out there, 
And, and, you know, those always seem to be, you know, nobody wants to return the, the $8 item that you sold. Everybody wants to return the $65 item that you sold. And, um, yep. which I had happened here recently. I had two, two, you know, right, almost back to back. That was, uh, over a hundred dollars in returns. Yep. Not that, that my account was down where I couldn't absorb that. And it was, again, I thought back to, don't get upset, Ken. Sell through it. Yeah, yeah. List some more stuff. Be happy and positive about the sales that you did get, and don't dwell on. Refund the money and and get the package back and just go on with your day because it'll it can eat you up to to no end if you if you dwell on that sort of stuff. And, and so you know, that's if you, if you compare the negative to the positive in this instance. Yeah. The negative is bad buyers. That's the negative. At the end of the day, yeah, it's un it's bad buyers. Well, no, you can't. So, like, let's rule out the fact that sometimes we make mistakes and sure. it was our fault. So let's rule those out, and let's go to the bad buyers that are trying to return it for, you know, again, I feel like I use words that whatever. When I say bad buyer, I mean someone that isn't measuring clothes to make sure it's going to fit them or is ordering the wrong size shoes or yeah. buying a toy that they didn't want or what. And they're coming up with whatever reason they want to return it. Right. Yeah. So those buyers are still way, way, way fewer than the good buyers. And a good buyer to me is someone that bought the item and kept it. Either you heard from them in a feedback or, or you yeah. didn't hear from them. Either way, that's still a good buyer, and that's a great transaction. Yes. And we would not be doing this. We Neither one of us would be doing yeah. this if that wasn't the fact. If the True. majority was bad buyers, we would have already gave up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, we would have never made it past the first couple months. We would have been like, I'm going back and getting a job. Yeah. So this is... So bite your tongue, Jimmy. That's, that's why I always stay positive because I know there's yeah. way more positive transactions happening Definitely. every single day for me. Yes, I I agree. And you know, they get those those negative uh things, whether it's feedback or just that, you know, a return isn't always a negative thing. And most of the time when I've had something returned to me, I can I can relate to the reason that the buyer sent it back. You know, they usually, usually there's some sort of explanation, even when it's just, I changed my mind or right. I didn't want it. You know, I have yet crossed my fingers. I don't want to introduce, you know, karma or whatever. I've never had like a, an INAD or anything like that, where I was on the short end of the stick yeah. and I could see in the buyer's, you know, instance, why they didn't, why they didn't want the item or why they didn't keep the item. Right. And I refund it, even I though sometimes it's a bad painful. buyer. That's not someone I consider no. a bad buyer. No. Someone that had a legit reason why they didn't want it or a, you know, that they, again, that they, that they did the research they needed to do to make sure they're buying what they want to buy. Yes. And then they got it in something about it they didn't like. And then they, I don't consider that a bad buyer. Correct. I also I agree. Don't consider if you, if I, like I said, if I made the mistake on my end, I don't consider that a bad buyer either. Sorry. Agreed. That's what you were you know thinking. what this this kind of turned into a, a reseller podcast no, we Jimmy stop this. yeah we stop I think right now. I think we're gonna call it uh, on on that topic but uh if you're still here after all of that yeah. check <laughs> us out Wednesday thing. night Thursday the 23rd that'll be two days from now when this comes out 8 30 p.m with Eastern time with John Cincinnati Picker, special guest yes. on the live show. That's going to be great. Uh, check me out tonight on the Nashville Flippers channel for the Monday Night Draft with Paul Philly Flipper, Ray, and Kristen, a rural squirrel. That should be fun talking about Thanksgiving holiday foods. Uh, oh. Check out Jimmy's channel, Old School Resale. He's got Old School Flips, Old School Resale. He's putting out content. But uh, he's going to be going on a trip to actually hit some garage sales in warm yeah. weather, which is nice. nice. Hooking yep. up with Matt Phoenix Flipper. And uh, that's it. That's right. It's Phoenix Flipper, right? Yep. Yeah. Or Phoenix. Okay. 
um, and so, some other resellers out there. So Jimmy, be safe in your travels when you're out there. Uh, check our, our Facebook page for the Reseller Clickbait Podcast. We're going to put new content. Uh, I actually made some content today, Jimmy. I threw up a little video about Shut some sales that I was shipping. I did uh, another little video and it was fun and I had fun and it was quick and it was it was easy. And, uh, you know, that sort of stuff motivates me when you get those little notifications all day long that people are liking it and and, and comments and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. that's pretty cool. So um, we will catch you for the live show and everybody have a great week. Um, great Thanksgiving week. If you don't catch the live, this right. is the week of Thanksgiving. Enjoy your holidays. Be safe in your travels. And we'll be back with the Santa beard Scream. on the next one. <laughs> Reseller Clickbait Podcast.